The stage is set and the tension is powerful. 90 minutes of what should be highly entertaining and absorbing football to come. And it would take a very brave person indeed to predict the outcome. What an enticing prospect. We have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Well, the weather really couldn't be any better here today. A very warm welcome to you on this fine day. I'm Guy Mowbray, joined by former England striker Sue Smith on the commentary gantry. And we've got La Liga EA Sports action coming right up. It's Almeria and they take on Barcelona. Cheers, Guy. I think it's so important that both teams start on the front foot, take the game to the opposition, and an early goal would certainly settle any nerves. Nice possession, but maybe one pass too many and they've lost it. Here's how the home side lines up. Yeah, a 4-5-1 or a 4-2-3-1. A lot of coaches are adopting this nowadays as it does give you those two holding players while you've still got plenty of threat from the wide wingers. A chance to deliver into the box. De Jong. A promising looking attack, but it's come to nothing. This is the Barcelona team sheet. Marc-André Ter Stegen is in goal. Ronald Araujo plays alongside Andreas Christensen as centre-backs. Frenkie de Jong plays alongside Ilkay Gundogan in midfield. And leading the line is Robert Lewandowski. Plenty of space to attack now. Good cross into the middle. Off the defender, corner kick. Corner kick played in. Well, that's how to clear it. Edgar. Robertoni. Now to deliver a good ball in. Robertoni. Oriol Romeo. On to Jao Cancelo. Frankie de Jong. Bit sloppy in possession. Using his strength well. Lucas Robertoni. Jonathan Vieira. De Jong. Lewandowski. And that's nicely won to see off the threat. Edgar. Alex Centeas. Vieira. And that'll do it. The end of the first 45 minutes here. Robert Lewandowski's displays are usually wholly admirable, but he surely has to do a whole lot more. There's definitely more to come from him. He's just been a bit quiet, and at times he's made decent runs, but his teammates just haven't found him. I'm sure if he gets a chance in the second half, he'll take it. And the ball is rolling for the second half, with both sides hopefully switched on a bit more now. The defender left behind but that's a really good recovery to win the ball there's a chance for them to go now keep going says the referee advantage and the pass is incomplete nicely won 
Rafinha. Players waiting in the centre. Oh, quality keeping. Well, he certainly showed his class there with that save. You'd expect him to score from there, but he comes from nowhere to keep that out. They decide against putting it into the box. Perfectly anticipated, really well won. This is an excellent looking Barcelona transition. Now Cancelo. There's a good amount of freedom here. Won't take it from him there. Dion. On to Jao Cancelo. Frankie Dion. De Jong. Keeping it nicely here. Under one. Real opportunity. Oh, superb save. He's done so well to keep that out. They take it short. More defensive work to do here. They keep on coming. Corner again. They decide against putting it in. Picks out a teammate. Christensen, chance for the lead. Lewandowski, Gundogan, and the attack is over. Really good defending. Now, this has to be. Surely. Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that'll be the winner. Stunning scenes here. Well, we can see it again now, and they're so dangerous in these transitions. The speed of the counter-attack is really impressive, but the keeper shouldn't get beat at his near post there. He just doesn't get his angles right. He'll be gutted conceding that. Well, an exciting climax to an exciting game. But is there enough time left for a response? Pedri. Jules Koundé. De Jong now. Well, still pushing forward in search of the equaliser. And the shot thwarted. Well, time very much ebbing away. It's starting to feel like it's now or never. And here it comes. They've got the corner away. There is the final whistle. Plenty of positives for them to take away, not least the three points suit. Yeah, well, it really could have gone either way. It was so competitive for much of the game, but they kept pushing, kept believing, and probably deserved the winner in the end. Well, he's put in a more than satisfactory shift over the course of the game. What's your assessment, Sue? Yeah, he had a good game. He got an important goal, which gave them the lead. 
And you could just see how confident he was, always wanting the ball and making things happen.